So I wanted to know today, are you normal? But then I think it might be turning into, am I normal? Are you normal? <laughs> I don't even worry about such things. Diana does. Yeah, go ahead. It's fine. And we actually have my Bible study, my online Bible study joining us uh, to give us some input as well. So we can try to get a well-rounded picture here yeah. of what normal is. Okay. I'm going to start out with two that I just think are funny because I've been noticing this. And so this is where it's, am I normal? And okay. then we'll get to if you're normal. Okay. okay. Does it bother you that trash cans are now marked landfill rather than... And then, have you noticed Oh, this? when you're out in public. I was thinking about Okay, sorry. Yeah, when can. you go to a restaurant yeah. or a coffee shop, a lot of times now the trash cans are marked landfill and recycle. And I feel like they're trying to make us feel guilty about putting things in the landfill. For sure. Is that how you interpret that? Yeah, but it's after the fact. You've already bought the thing or done the thing, and now it's like, whoa, guilt trip. And I can't control if how you're serving the food to me... Maybe it's trying to put it on our brain and just be a little more conscientious in general. You know what it probably is, Diana, is it's so that people don't just toss it all into the garbage can, into the landfill one, that they actually take the time to sort out the recycling okay. and the compost, right? So okay. it's probably, you're probably taking it way too personally. Well, and I have noticed that some of like the cups and things are recyclable, um, but they probably still get put into the, the trash. And so maybe that's the problem. Lise likes it. Okay. I like it. Yeah. I, I think you're taking so it too personally. Choice. Do you get guilt tripped easily? Well, because that was going to be my next one. Because I just actually had this conversation um, with, the, with one of my friends about going to the dentist. Because do you feel guilty when you go to the dentist when you're talking about your dental hygiene? And she, because she was like, I feel like no matter how well I think I'm doing, I'm never doing enough. Oh, that's not true. So maybe that depends on the dentist. Or maybe, again, if you're feeling guilt because you're like, oh, I could be doing more. Yeah. I got the water pick and then I never I actually know. set that's it up. That's what Diana needed a new head for hers, right? And you, I, you weren't using it for months. And then I thought it needed to be cleaned. I've never cleaned mine in the two years I've owned mine. It looks disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> but I went to the dentist recently. Okay. And she was like, oh, your gums are looking so much better. And I actually told her, I'm like, hey, we'll link to this, Diana, right? Because I'm like, I got one of those fancy, Diana made me get this fancy toothbrush that shoots water at your teeth. It's, she said she went to a, let me fix. Okay. I just was going to clarify. It's built in electric toothbrush and water pick so you brush and then you floss or other way around well yeah but it doesn't actually take the place of flossing if we can just but anyways they told me that too yeah. she told me she had just gone to a continuing ed as a hygienist okay. a hygienist and they had a study on it and she said it greatly improves gum health so okay. it's it's a, it's expensive it's 150 dollars, but so in the chat do you feel guilty when you go to the dentist or is I'm doing a lot better. I've been a lot more consistent yeah. since I got that toothbrush. Christine said, I got the guilt trip from dentists for years. Yeah. Yep. She Sonic got an electric. Sonic and water picker, the ultimate life hack. Yeah. My dentists think I floss every day. <laughs> yes. Go, Christine. Oh, Hi, Christine, by the way. But I have to give one more tip. Somehow we got on this. That rinse I got, I that told is you very about. good too. Because I was in my first trimester of pregnancy, not being the most diligent because everything made me sick and tired. And I went in and I had my best checkup yet, but I'm using this rinse. It's natural. Yeah. It has some different things that help to kill the bacteria naturally. Yeah. So between that and, cause I wasn't even using, now I'm back to using the electric toothbrush. I, I had it, I got it cleaned out. Um, I guess maybe, maybe I didn't need to. Well, and you had had someone in your family that the breath was kind of an issue too, yeah. right? And it's very effective with that. With we that have a person in ours too. Not Tom even. Um, <laughs> and so. You're uh, welcome, Tom. <laughs> um, but yes, that has actually, that I believe that is making a difference okay, too. So we're going to so link. We'll link to it. We've had a lot of dental challenges, right? Yeah. So we feel your pain if you're in that boat. Nothing wrong with you. You're super normal. Well, and now my five-year-old already is having challenges. Yeah, and so, so we actually just cut out snacks. We're only going to have a little bit of fruit and veggies in the afternoon. I'll keep you posted. Yeah. So far, so good. It, well, two yes. days. <laughs> okay, so now are you normal? Here's what we got to get to, okay? What is the most popular food for adults? What is your favorite food? Oh, a really good hamburger. Are you asking? <gasps> Say it. A really good hamburger. Put something like spicy and good saucy. It's number one on in it. the U.S. Yeah, I'm so normal. What were you going to say? Well, I don't know. That's like probably a sandwich or something. Yeah. I just had a really good like French dip, like roast beef sandwich yeah. on Princeton's birthday. But I just kind of felt like, let me read some of these top foods to you. And then just 
Tell me, okay, hamburgers, hot dogs. Hot dogs. French fries, steak, and pizza. Pizza. Are the top favorite. Pizza might be my favorite or like a really good. Really good, yeah. Um, are the top foods in the United States. And okay. I just kind of felt like, so in the, in the comments, I would love to know if you fall in there and, and let me know what they say in the chat. I just kind of feel like that is so unsophisticated. Like we, oh, and I can feel guilty about anything or just yeah. like, uh, who care too much. But A little bit. <laughs> okay, so what's everybody saying? What's your favorite food? Yep, Bree says hamburger and fries three times oh. a day, every day. Yeah, yes it does. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tacos. tacos. It was taco tacos. No, tacos, tacos are such a fad now. There. But you have to have a good sauce, or even shrimp tacos. Like Adeline and I were talking about, it's all about the sauce. Yes. Right. If it doesn't have a good and sauce beans. and aioli, what do they say that like? Yeah. Then don't even bother me with it. But it's but a, a good, a good taco. taco. Yeah. Okay. Actually, can I show you something really quick? Okay. This taco seasoning, street taco, it's, oh. it's more expensive. It was like $2, not just the 16 Okay, cents. well, it's McCormick. But yeah, it's brand name. street taco, it is really good. It has like a little bit of like a smoky, I don't know. Oh, this one's Southwest Ranch. Um, oh. Very good. This will this will up your taco game. I like to do it with my um, chicken tacos. Okay. And so, God, I don't want to take up all your time, Diana, but even last night, I'm, okay. I'm doing like an eat up the freezer challenge. Okay. I had this bag of chicken breast that looks so freezer burned. I'm like, no way is that going to turn out. Put it in the crock pot on low with a jar of salsa and last, and then I put it in the stand mixer to shred it. Chicken tacos, chicken chili, throw a little of this in. It was awesome. It wasn't tough. It was good. I love so. that this has turned into life hacks with Dawn. I think, <laughs> I'm just feeling you know like, what? Get us through. Get us yeah. through. But Tracy said barbecue. So oh, we're, yeah, good barbecue. we're having a, a picnic with mom and dad this weekend because we didn't get to do it on the 4th of July. And yeah. all I could in the ch in our little chat thread is like, please bring the ribs. Ribs. From the yeah, little restaurant place. Here. Doesn't that sound Diana's amazing? Getting ribs. I like, wish you all could come for ribs too. So. Yeah, how is barbecue not on the list? Good one. Okay. Well, it's it's that's more geographically. You you can't get good barbecue just anywhere. Yeah, it's a lot harder thing. here. Yeah, the barbecue I got dad on Memorial Day was terrible, and I was so upset at how much I paid for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no. that's good to know. Okay, okay, guys, this one we all we need to take this seriously, and we need to address this more seriously than the dental stuff. Yes. Okay. Okay. Go. As we both have our giant McDonald's oh, coffee. Don't say anything about my coffee, guys. Coffee. Okay, tell us your average coffee consumption per day. What's your average? Real quick, Christine says, I've been using your taco recommendation, Don. Chicken in the slow cooker with the hair does salsa. Huge family favorite. Darn it, I it need to is. go get my salsa. Out of the <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. No. It's true. There's something about adding in that jar of salsa in the slow cooker with the chicken that just... It breaks it down, I think. I don't know. Christine, do you think that's what it is? So okay. we'll link to the recipe, though, down below. Right. Chicken chili and chicken tacos. I forgot what we were talking about. Go ahead. How many cups of coffee a day? Two. That's what I think. I thought that was average. I thought that was kind of like the maximum that you can get away with and sleep at night oh. and not be anxious all the time. Stacy does three cups. I don't know how you sleep at night, Stacy. Are any of them decaf? Patty says two. Carla says copious amounts. I don't even know how that is. <laughs> Carla. Okay, so you want to, but get ready for this. So if average in the U.S. is three cups, what does that mean some of us are drinking? That's what I want to know. Because yeah. to average it to three, I mean, some are drinking even more than that. Yeah, right. Because Kristen says, I don't drink coffee. Marsha says three, two hot, one cold. I mean, I love that. <laughs> Linda's like French two press. Hot, Jackie's cold. only doing one. Who's doing six? Like, what are we doing here, guys? And do That's you see your teeth? <laughs> if I have caffeine past two o'clock, what's your cutoff? Oh, 12. Well, I go to bed yeah. earlier than you. Like, noon but 30. 12, yeah. yeah. And I know I'm pregnant. So technically they say you can have two cups of coffee even during pregnancy. If I know some people are worried about that. Well, you you can i read it and i took it to the bank <laughs> i, I was just like i don't know would. <laughs> <laughs> but i try to be aware of this whole idea that caffeine caffeine has a half-life right and so it just so you really do have to have it earlier in the day because My otherwise it stays in your system is usually decaf or half cup a half caf caf also no starbucks the caffeine amount in starbucks is a lot higher yeah. so if i have starbucks i'm like no everything else has to be decaf today so, or I order it decaf. Like we have espresso. How many? So you have two a day? Mm-hmm. But this is, this is like three. Oh, yeah. So no, you know. this would okay. be, this is my coffee for the day. Okay. Yeah. All I right. got Don her I own McDonald's coffee worried. today. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So no mm -hmm. one was actually that grossed out by it when we were sharing the other day. 
It's because yeah. we're all BBFFs. It's well, if you can talk about not cleaning your water pick, I'll, let me know about that yeah. one. I don't know if you can handle that. Okay, ready? What's next? Okay. Mm. Oh, wow. Housework. On average, 85% of women do household activities each day. I mean, you have to, right? Well, yeah. I mean, but on the days they did house housework, they spent 2.7 hours on these activities. What? So how, how, many, much, how much time do you spend on housework On today? average, do you spend on housework? So this is everything. Cleaning, cooking, cooking. laundry. I mean, I think well, actually, if you start to really think about it, that I was like... Morning, you got to do breakfast and that, right? You know, and, the, and and people think I'm weird because I'm a minimalist. I don't understand that. <laughs> like, because it's like, oh, oh, so you'd rather spend 2.7 hours a day? No, thank you. We, well, we don't spend anywhere near that. No wonder you need six cups of coffee. Yeah, right? we don't do that. How much do you think you spend? One hour, maybe? It, cooking with everything? laundry maggie just did diana if you would have seen our couch was piled with laundry maggie's doing the laundry now whatever i'm staying out of it but i'm like <laughs> hey people are coming over today all the laundry she just sorts it quick brings it to everybody's rooms like we don't know okay so you have little worker bees so well, that makes yeah but they difference. also create more laundry and dishes and food and True. you know so it kind of yeah. evens out what are so, we wow lisa says 30 minutes. 30 minutes a day yeah i know you've simplified too uh -huh. um Let's see. Who did the research? <laughs> yeah. It's like, I don't buy it. <laughs> I think with little kids, because I have to do everything. Yeah, Carla's right? saying a half hour a day too. Okay. That so we are because like, no, well, I get like the kids basically make their breakfast now and they put their dishes in the sink. They're getting really good at that. They, give, they bring me their clothes. I have to help dress them still. And then in the evenings, but I mean, I feel like dinner to then like pick up after, before and after kids go to bed. Yeah. I'm probably maybe two hours. You're two in the, you're yeah. in the most labor. Ex exactly. Intensive That's season, part of it. I think. Okay. It goes down. Right. Yeah. Yeah, one Janine says one hour. I think oh, that's. Christine says two plus hours now that I work from home, cooking, laundry, etc. I, I don't know. 15 to 20 minutes a day. One hour max. Probably depends on how elaborate your meals are because the, that's the more yeah. time you spend cooking and then also the more time you spend cleaning, cleaning up. Cleaning up and everything. Um, stage of life obviously is huge. I kind of want to I kinda keep track of it now and see. I would be really curious. Yeah, okay. okay. All right, you keep us updated. Um, all right, one more on hobbies. Okay. Now this one I'm going to challenge because I don't, I believe, okay, let's just, let's just ask you. What is your, if you have a little pocket of free time, maybe Saturday afternoon or in the evenings, uh, what is the number one thing you like to do to spend your time? Well, for me right now, it is being in the garden. Yeah, I saw that on here. I'm trying to, okay, Where's that's garden? one, two, oh, that's, three, four, that's five, that's six, seven, over halfway like down. eight, eight down. Okay. Okay. I don't see, I'm going to pop this list up on the screen. I so these are people's top hobbies, hobbies that they would choose to do if they had extra time? I don't see social media on here. That's not a hobby, is it? Well, I mean, it's a time stuff. Time, for sure. it's a time where time you spend your spender. time. It has computers and um, gaming. Somewhere there was computers. Oh, way down at the bottom, though, a tech and okay. computer. So that's my only challenge with this list. So I'm okay. assuming this is outside of social media. Okay. Who did the research, so, Stacey, right? <laughs> I see gardening. I see a lot of gardening. Gardening and then reading. Okay. Yeah, reading is a big one for us now. Yeah. Cooking and baking is the number one hobby in the US. I don't think of cooking and baking as a hobby. I don't enjoy it though. Cooking and baking. Baking. Cooking and I baking? think I could really get into baking if Ooh, I. Watercolor painting. Go with Janine. That sounds relaxing. Right? She's very creative. A rubber stamping and, and scrapbooking. Yep. Four hours at stables looking after my pony. Oh, that's cool. I just got a Bible study that I was just kind of testing out and it had adult coloring pages in it. Yeah. Oh, is that on there? That's I think nice. I get into that. Uh, yeah. Going for a walk. I would love to walk with you guys. Uh, yeah. Reading and crafting. Reading and puzzles. Oh, puzzles in the winter we've been doing. So puzzles. cooking and baking is number one. Reading is number two. Pets. So maybe going to the pet park and that walking. Yeah, that horse, kind of pony. Thing. Yep. Video gaming. Are any of you guys right. gamers? I don't think yeah, we all fall dudes. into that. That's yeah. the dudes. Okay. Outdoor activities, which that's a little broad. Traveling. That's kind of more like seasonal, right? Yeah. And then DIY and arts and crafts. Yeah. Gardening and plants and socializing. Socializing, that's good. Yeah, board These games, are all card games. Yeah. I feel I'm surprised baking is number one and cooking. Do you think, okay, yeah, it's hard to imagine if you just had time. 
<laughs> Diana can't even fathom that right now. <laughs> yeah, I just I, like hobbies, huh? Because Adeline, your oldest, has made some like really cool. Like she baked. How do you even make um, macarons? Macarons. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, she made them. Yeah. And so there's like really some fun things you can do. Yeah. I love them getting to like share that with people and be mm -hmm. like, let's all enjoy this. And so I could cooking. I would love to know how to cook better and like Agreed. enjoy the meals. I, yes. That's why I feel like hamburgers and things are so basic. It's like, I think we yeah, could do better. Yeah, there's much better foods out there. Yeah. Like I think we could do better if yeah. we had more time to like really rediscover the art of, I, I mean, our grandma would just like whip things up. Mm -hmm. like yeah and it was really good i think it had a lot of fat and stuff in it okay so here's the last <laughs> Put a stick one. of butter and it's gonna be good you know <laughs> here is the last one do you go to church how many times a week is it or a month um oh at least once a month do you go to church at least once a month yes okay <laughs> so are we trying to guilt trip people? yeah people no, i'm just trying to do, how are, are you, you normal Ian? Well, it's actually Are you composting <laughs> in the U S now. It's more normal not to go to church. Well, I believe that. So yeah. right now we are at 43% of go at um, least once a month. Individuals in the U S go to church once a month. Okay. It's hard so, to find a good church. Uh, well, and the, you know, times are changing, right? We're yeah. in a post modern post church culture. Uh, actually interesting story. We have new neighbors and they are quite a bit younger than us. I think they're like upper twenties, early thirties. Oh, wow. Oh, yep. New. And they're coming over tonight. So I already thought about, uh, sometimes I don't like to say I'm a pastor, right? Cause then you're like, oh, they're going to think I'm like trying to push my, it's like you're a personal stuff. trainer. You're a dentist. I know. Right. Now, I, I floss every day. I know. But now that I'm a YouTube pastor, I feel like that's kind of cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're cool. Um, but so the, the way I usually bring up the question of faith with people that I still can kind of get away with, with even that age demographic is, Oh, did you grow up going to church? Oh, that, that kind of gives you a baseline. It just like opens the door. And yeah. then sometimes it can create the conversation of then like why I stopped or why yeah, like what this really doesn't feel like a good fit from, for me. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to, I'll let you know. I'm going to. No guilt if you don't. I'm going to try it. A lot of people are saying like most weeks okay. everything, but if not, it's okay. No, like, and Carla's bringing up online. And that was another thing yeah. that I wanted to get to. So now that online has become so prevalent. And even like when I was first trimester really nauseous, there mm -hmm. were several times where I stayed home with the baby and was able to watch church online. And I was so grateful because I still felt mm -hmm. like I was a part of what was happening. Okay. So right now of the 43% who are going to church, what percent are going in person? Well, I hope it's like at least 80%. Yeah, three quarters. Okay, it's pretty good. good. And it's they, not the same. I'm glad they have the option, it. but it's not the same. And it's only about 11% that are only watching online or on TV. So, and that could be people who are, you know, homebound or different reasons or mm -hmm. um, have different. And so limitations, work, stuff like that. Um, so I was encouraged that we're mostly of those who do attend church or back to church. Yeah. And see value in, you know, gathering together with real people. Mm -hmm. All right. Lastly... Do you use apps or websites for scripture reading? Mm -hmm. All right. In the, in the chat, do, yeah. you, do you use an app what or website? Do you use? I mean, obviously, we talk a lot about the Bible Recap podcast, which mm -hmm. is an app, which we love if you want to read the Bible and learn about it every day. Mm -hmm. um, so about 30% of people go online to search for information about religion. I mean, a lot of times if you want to search for like a scripture or something like that, 21% use apps and websites to help with reading scripture, but that's yeah. of the whole population. Oh, so 43% go to church. 21% are using. So that's about half of those who go to yeah. church are using, which again, how do you no. not like that? Yeah. Just, I feel like has become, I mean, standard. I think it's kind of like, yes, I prefer my paper Bible, right? right. But there are times where it's just way easier, way so. easier. So it's yeah. good to have both. I think. Yes. Yes. Apps. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I use the Bible app and Bible recap podcast. Yeah. Yep. I use websites. websites yeah. Read yeah. Bible every day with apps and Bible. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's pretty, pretty common. Standard. Oh, I was at Barnes and Noble the other day and they had the Bible recap book yeah. there. And I'm like, hmm, in a way I kind of like that to not just to not even have to go on my phone at all right mm -hmm. away in the morning to just like, just leave it out of sight, out of mind, not even get tempted by anything mm -hmm. else. Um, so I do like that. But some of us, um, listen to the Bible recap while we're using our electric toothbrush and water pick. You're so good. <laughs> no, it's just my stage of life. Yeah. I would prefer not to. I would prefer to sit leisurely. Oh, I thought you were day. bragging about brushing your teeth no. now. Well, no. I listen to the Bible and I brush and floss <laughs> every day while I'm doing squats, you know. Like. <laughs> 
I got my workout in, my <laughs> dental hygiene, and, and my quiet time. I have a made avocado mask on my skin. Yeah, and, drinking my smoothie. And, yes. <laughs> <laughs> next to my coffee <laughs> while my kids all sit perfectly behaved and lined up and exactly Memory scripture yep. exactly and then i go garden yeah or cook bake yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> so what did we decide are we normal i think we're pretty we normal. normal i'm normal i don't know don Do doesn't worry about normal? these things Yep, got to do what works in your season of life amen <laughs> totally true. right and i think aren't we all just getting better at having grace for ourselves and like again if you have to tell the dentist like i'm sorry it's just it has to wait its turn. <laughs> like it's, you know. Don't try. At least my dentist don't try that. Just say yes. I saw, <laughs> yeah, I saw a meme one time, and it said like, I don't know why my my dentist asked the last time I floss. Don't they know they're the one that did it? <laughs> <laughs> right. That's exactly Am I right? right. <laughs> yep. So, anyways, we'll link to that fancy uh, uh. toothbrush. Christmas is coming. And the chicken tacos <laughs> yeah. and all the things all so the that things. you can feel like a super successful human being. Mouth too. rinse if you have bad breath for someone you know. <laughs> so Father, we just thank you for this time together. Thank you for laughter. Thank you for joy. Uh, and thank you for community, Lord. We're just so grateful. And so Father, I just pray for any of the areas of our life, Lord, if we want to go back to church, Lord, or if we want to read the Bible or, or any new habits that we want to pick up, if we want to cook more, bake more, Lord. I just pray for grace in this next season. I pray for rhythms, Lord, that are good for our soul, good for our relationships, and good for our connection with you. And so, Father, I just pray that you would guide us. Guide us into this next season of fall and of back to school, Lord, that you would just quiet anxieties, Lord, that you would bring peace to any areas of tension, Lord God, even now that you would just release those areas of tension. Holy Spirit, that you would just bring refreshment to our hearts and our minds and our souls, Lord, and that we would just walk into this next season together, connected to you and full of your strength and your grace, your light and your love. And so I bless each one of us now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.